Hello everyone, welcome to helpmail.com. So this time using Excel, you're going to find the measure of variation. So measure of variation means usually we're finding the variance and standard deviation. But uh, unlike a standard tendency, like a mean, median mode, variation we can uh, differentiate uh, if the data represent the population or sample. Okay. So this time we're gonna find out both value. Then we also wanna compare, you know, which are uh, how they are different basically. Okay. So now the variance here. So then now make an equal sign and then type VAR because the variance start from VAR. So you type that and you see the first one shows that VAR.p. So that's the population variance. So double click that. And then now highlight everything here. And then that value is the population variance. Okay. And now the population standard deviation, then make an equal sign and then STD like this. Then you will see STD EV.P. That's the standard deviation for population. So we'll click that and highlight this value. Okay. Then these values are the population variance and the population standard deviation. Okay, then using the same data and then let's find out the sample variance and the sample standard deviation. So, so variation, so I told you we begin from VAR. So VAR and the second one is the sample variance. So click that and highlight this all data. Enter. Now the sample, the standard deviation to so equal to STD, then second one. So STD EV dot S, that's the sample standard deviation. So double click and highlight everything. And then those values are the uh, sample variance and sample standard deviation. Okay. So when you compare the population value and the sample value, so you may see sample is a little bigger compared to population here, right? Uh, it is because of the population case, we are dividing by the total number of data, but the sample case, we are making one empty space so that we are dividing one fewer data compared to uh, total, from fewer than total data compared to population. That was the reason. Okay, then uh, let's also solve the second problem here. Okay. So now finding the population variance even sample variance. So whenever you use it, then always uh, put equal sign and then type VAR. Okay. So first one is the, the population variance. So click that and then highlight all the sample data. Enter. Now uh, population standard deviation then equal to STD and click that. Highlight everything. Enter. Now, the sample variance, you can do VAR, and you choose second one, and then highlight everything, enter, and now sample standard deviation equal to STD, and you, you will see the second one, and then highlight everything here. Okay? So those are basically the population variance and standard deviation, and those are sample variance and sample standard deviation that we are using, we have found the same measurement using different two data here. Okay? So that's all for finding the measure of variation. I hope you understand through this video. Right? Thanks for coming and then I will see you again with a different video. Thank you. Bye.